I'm just uh, sitting here, got the bike nearly packed up. It's the last morning. Uh, the guys are still. <laughs> may have been some whiskey consumed last night. The boys are still snoring away in their tent. Uh, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. We need to get an early start this morning because we've got a fair way to go. We're going to try and get home today. I'm just lying here uh, listening to the bush. I don't know whether you can hear it on the microphone, but you know, the birds are chirping and the bees are buzzing around. And a variety of different birds making noises around the place. It's just magic. I love the bush. Uh, we love just getting away and camping. We had a great night last night, a great ride yesterday. Um, and you know what? It's just, it's just been a great um, f what, five days, f six days between uh, Christmas and New Year. And we've covered some amazing roads that we've not been on before. And um, just, you know, uh, new people like Wayne meaning heaps of bikers along the way, heaps of guys out riding, so many people. And, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna do a video about the Great Dividing Range, how it basically separates the east coast of Australia from kind of the outback a little bit and, and the, the much drier centre. But um, up on the Great Dividing Range, it's not very high. I mean, you know, 1,000, 1,500 metres uh, above sea level, and, and it really doesn't get much higher than that to the highest peak in Australia, which is, you know, 22... 100 metres, so it's you know, it's not a big mountain by mountain ranges, um, you know, some of the European and and uh, you know, North American uh, ranges, just nothing compared to those. But it's long, like it's nearly 6,000 kilometres from the top of Australia all the way down the bottom. But what it does is it separates the east coast of Australia from the much drier centre, and um. We've just been having this heat wave lately. It's been uh, upwards of 40 degrees in a lot of places, and you know, it's over 100 Fahrenheit. Um, and so, what we've been doing is we've been trying to stay up on top of the uh, ranges where it's six, eight, ten degrees cooler, and it's been really nice. A bit warm when we got in here last night, it was about 30 degrees, um, but it just cooled right down to about 12 degrees overnight. But the trip's just been going fantastic. The bike, uh, all the bikes, you know, we put a bit of curry on the BMW, of course, but uh, all the bikes have just been going great. Anyway, nice having a chat this morning. Hope you're uh, enjoying the trip so far, and uh, we'll finish it off a little later on. But thanks for joining us, and Happy New Year. Last morning. And that was it, eh? That's camping for the year. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The last camp you'll have this year, mate. Yep. <laughs> it's uh, New Year's Eve today. Today? Yep, 2019 tomorrow. What adventures will unfold for us next year? Time will tell. We've got a few ideas, a few, uh, few things lined up. Um, all right, that's our last day of riding. Oh, last day of riding in 2019 as well. So, um, thanks for the trip, fellas. I just want to you one thing. Neil's going to just he give us... a little uh, blue on blue oh. accident. <laughs> Someone didn't know how wide his bike was and clipped... First time them. riding with panniers on an off-road bike, so we had a little incident the other day where I was squeezing past Charlene. And that happened. <laughs> so, not quite a leader anymore. So, but Moscow Moto, yep. stuff. Yep, yep. Aluminium drink bottle from Super Cheap, not so good. Mate, just, just fill it with petrol and light it, and it, <laughs> it should pop straight back out again. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, actually. It's all just heated up. Um... But no, I, I was just coming past with my bag and hit that and boom. Didn't took 200 mil out of your capacity. <laughs> so, but 
Is that on the way? It's been a great trip. It has been a great trip. Another one. Except for, except for Dave. Oh, Dave, was there. Dave took a dive. That's good. Good setup. Good camp. We've been really fortunate with um, camping yeah. sites this time, haven't we? Just fantastic. No one around. Like this is peak season. There's no one out, yeah. uh, and that's probably because there's no creeks. There's no. There's no amenities here. This is just a clear spot in the middle of a forest, and it's fantastic. There's a rake here. Right? There's a rake. There's a rake. A good fire. <laughs> All right. Let's hit the road, fellas. Let's go. <laughs> We've got this massive climb now up, up out of the... It was a great ride in. We were coming down and leaping off the water bars. Might be a different matter going up. Trying not to launch off the water bars. Fully loaded bike. Sharp turn up here somewhere. Uphill into soft sand, so. Straight up, look at that. Here's this big U turn here in soft sand. Oh, come on, girl. Clutch out. Easy. Man. Keep going. Oh, okay. Um, oh, how about a ride on the shore? Proper off road ride on the uh, DCT. So, do you want to be a manual this time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. So, I'll look. Do you, yep. So, okay, fire it up. Right. Oh, it's got to be in gear. Yep. Always press it twice in the sports mode. Right. And then that one once. And now, now you're in manual. I'm in full control now. I'll tell you what you're in. Okay. No, no. Yep. So leave, leave all this. Now. Yep. And you've just got your down and up. Yep. You're on traction control two. Sorry. You're on traction okay. control two. Okay. Yep. And gravel mode. Okay. So, cool. All right. Hold yeah. it. Hold it. So I'm in full manual mode now. Oh, this bike is so much lighter and smaller. <laughs> Climbing a hill and changing gears <laughs> did by pulling the lever, very nice. Down a gear. Whee!
yeah, this suspension's not really set up for me. Particularly when you're standing, not having to worry about grabbing clutches or anything. Nice, 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 nice. So you can flick it between sports mode and full manual at the touch of a button. Whoa! Geez, that was scary. <laughs> grabbing the clutch, <laughs> trying to change down. <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> very, very weird. Cool bike. It's Mrs. Jones. Did he look small on that? It probably wasn't the best place to do it because um, you really weren't changing gears that much. You just second gear and yeah. but then when I hit it out here Just boom boom boom. It just it's so nice I tell you where you pick it up a little bit is you don't have to button off the throttle pull a meter. Yeah, yeah time I mean I flat change but you still got to back off a touch, you know, yeah, so oh, yeah. It, um, uh, no, it's great really good. It'll oh look it'll probably be my next bike. You know, I'll, I'll get a, a DCT next time You don't need to but it's just weird coming through here. I'm going oh inter intersection <laughs> oh, Nothing there <laughs> nothing on that side nothing down there Just grabbing a handful of everything and bang 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 I threw it down one too many gears there and she's gone from you know fourth into second the back end hung out a bit and yeah, no, it's just that's how I leave half the skids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. engine braking. Yep. Oh, very good. All right. That's good. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Feels like home to me. All righty. Find out where we are. So the plan is we're going to head into Glen Innes, have a coffee, a bit of breakfast, and then... Um, I think probably Wayne's going to take off and uh, leave us. Where does that road go? Mount Slow. That go through to there. Um, there's a chance Wayne will probably leave us for We just, uh, I just saw a track on the, on the uh, sign on the road and saw where I went, kind of heads in the general direction. Not been there before, let's go that way. Um, so we're going to go to Glen Innes, have some lunch, or breakfast, coffee, get fuel, and then uh, Wayne will probably leave us because he lives a couple hundred kilometres that way. We will head back home. Yeah. Beautiful day for a ride. Look at that. It's actually only about 25 degrees up here on the range. Beautiful.
So we've just come out of the forest there, um, hooked up with this sealed road that's going to take us to Glen Innes. Here comes uh, Chris and Neil. And I'd say Wayne's probably sitting further back out of the dust. What Chris likes to do is get up on your shoulder, just kind of just off your quarter, uh, kind of just off the back wheel to stay out of the dust and um, avoid the rocks. Uh, just um, travel in convoy style like that. He's uh, look, man, no hands. So we just wait for Wayne to arrive. Here he comes. Oh, he's I've just he's just arriving, so we can go. Just as you turned her off. Oh, I might. Uh, what sort? Of, you got to put it back into road mode now. <coughs> oh, the tires, front tires, a bit low. Oh, okay. Twenty six. It should be right. Oh, yeah. We've only really got a few k's down to Glen Innes. That was a good run, good run, yeah. good option. See that, to me, that's adventure riding. We go, what, what's that road there? Let's go that way. Yeah. You know, that's what it's all about. Sure. All righty. It's uh, New Year's Eve, uh, 2018 in Australia. We've just finished the big rides, Wayne, Chris and Neil, myself. It's kind of the end of it for us, uh, but we just wanted to say Happy New Year to everyone and um, hope uh, 2019 sees lots of big bike adventures for all of you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Happy, Happy New Year. Well, that's it. That's the last ride for Big Bike Adventures 2018. Thanks, everyone. Really appreciate uh, you subscribing and liking and commenting and being part of the Big Bike Adventures community. See you in 2019.